you know, bring someone along, you can show them the way and you pass it on down. But you got some of these guys, hell, they don't want to pass a foreman job. They don't want to get up. Foreman jobs or the crane operators. Cause, uh, some years ago, uh, when I first got here, so a couple years after, you had, they, it was a long time before before we had the uh, crane operators. Or they, before they was training crane operators because they, the crane operators, they didn't want to train anybody. They just want to get all the work or whether they can pull them with double or triple and they don't want to show anybody until one day, you know, we had an abundance of work. Crane operators down here, then you got the container yard, you got the cruise boat, and they say, you know, the break both side, they, they short on crane operators. Yo, what up, Eric Long? So I've been checking in with another one. About to go get that paper tonight. But uh, I'm pretty sure I, I've done a video on this. I just got to uh, retouch on some of this. Hmm, trying to see where I'm going to start it. I don't know, I'll be writing this down, whatever comes to my mind. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's important to learn all you can on the docks, whatever class they have for you. Whether it's a truck driving class, they have a crane operator, whatever jobs they have available to you, uh, you should definitely take it. Because especially if you a low car or newcomer or have been there a couple of years and you know, and the classes or that foreman position is there for you, you should definitely take it. Say like they have a foreman position and the opportunity presents itself to you. You might have like four or five years on the job, whatever, it just depends. And a form position comes up. Go for it. Me personally, I don't want the forming position at all. Cause I like to come and work as I go. Me personally. And a lot of guys, you know, they feel like they're like, if you have seniority or whatever, you really don't need it for real. Unless you just trying to, you know, bring someone along, you can show them the way and you pass it on down. But you got some of these guys, hell, they don't want to pass a foreman job. They don't want to get up. Foreman jobs or the crane operators. Cause, uh, some years ago, uh, when I first got here, or so a couple years after, you had they, it was a long time before before we had the uh, crane operators. Or they, before they was training crane operators because they the crane operators, they didn't want to train anybody. They just want to get all the work or whether they can pull them with double or triple and they don't want to show anybody until one day you know we had an abundance of work crane operators down here then you got the container yard you got the cruise boat and they say you know break both side they say they short on crane operators and i used to be thinking to like to myself if y'all would have been training the younger generation we would never have this problem that's what cranes or uh, farming jobs all of that especially like with form y'all should it should be like swapped out all right you're gonna be a farmer for this week next week you know that's how you keep it going man like really that's how you really keep the keep it going there's a former miss out from work whatever he know that assist for me he know exactly what to do they know exactly what to do how to run the operation versus Damn, I gotta put this person in. I don't know. I don't know how he gonna do, man. And sometimes, you know, the operate you put a new person in, the operation might not might not go so well. And then they looking at the former like assistant form like you didn't did something bad, but if y'all would have been training people the correct way, you wouldn't have this issue. I think I was probably like it probably like my fourth year in. Or well, something like that, whatever. I know I was on the executive board and you know, they were talking about they was gonna be training and uh, they need some train crane operators and stuff. And that's one of the reasons I, I never had a chance to get in the damn crane. I'm gonna speak on it. It was a chance I never had a chance to get in the crane. 
I'm gonna put my name on the list. Or I said, yeah, I wanna get trained for it too. I was told, nah, they ain't gonna let you in there. How, how, they, how they not gonna let me in? How do you know they're not gonna let me in? You know for a fact they're not gonna let me in. A few years later, go down the line, whatever. I'm like, damn, all right, it must be some, I don't know what it is. A few years later, another person come in with lower senior, with lower seniority than me. I had, you know, a couple seniority over them. They come in and they get trained for the crane operator. And I'm like, damn, that is like effed up. But back, you know, as years went by, I was like, man, you know what that's some BS. It's, I see what's going on, it's some BS and you know, uh, I'm like, I don't even work on this side any damn way. Cause I was already established by then to work at the uh, container yard and stuff. So that's was, I wasn't tripping. But still though, that, that, that pork politic shit, it, it definitely goes on and it should definitely be trained. And you know, things on the job shouldn't be like held against you or you gonna say this and that. It's not how you, you, you don't know unless you know something. Like I said, it's, it's some BS to be going on. That's why I don't even too much be talking about it for real. It's a whole lot I could be saying on this channel. I ain't saying, but I'm not gonna put myself out there like that and stuff, man. I just want things to be better for the doc, for the poor peer. And you know, hopefully that change one day. And uh, yeah, man, treat people better the correct way. Everybody equal, everybody get, a, uh, get an opportunity to um, do their job, to, to if, it's, if there's a job that's that's for you, you should get that person a chance. Not because, not because, nah, he ain't, nah, nah, I can't do that. You gotta get a person a chance, man. Cause this dog, it's gonna be around, I don't know how long, you know, with AI and automation and all this stuff, but still, we need to be training people everywhere. It could be a training class, every month or so we can give out certifications or not certification but employee of the week employee uh, employee of the month whatever you know make people feel special on a job lots of jobs do that and you know that would make them the people feel better about their job and sometimes people don't want to go work, man i gotta deal with this bs day and i don't feel worn i don't feel special you have people like that no we they need to have employee of the month um so many, so many opportunities and rewards can be given to the workers. That's all, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm Eric Long Shoreman. Oh yeah, employee of the month. Need to go back to doing, uh, do turkey drives or, you know, having more cookouts and kind of be looking at other Long Shoreman Instagram pages. I see they doing this and that for that and they for it. And I'm like, damn, we, we can feel like this down here, man, golly. Too much animosity going on. Yeah, they having cookouts and you know they they bringing the men the workers together. You know what I'm saying? It should be like that everywhere, man. Not not us just fighting fighting each other, cutting each other's throat and all that stuff, man. But I'm here to long, sure. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Man.